is incredible. We got, you guys are awesome. We got signs, t-shirts, buttons. That's fabulous. I'm also running because I think we need to develop a fundamentally new approach to meet the challenges of the 21st century, an approach I call big citizenship. While our world has changed dramatically from even the world of 10 years ago, Capitol Hill is trapped in a debate over the past. It's a broken record, skipping back and forth between, on the one hand, FDR's big government is the answer to our problems, or no, it's Ronald Reagan's government isn't the solution, it's the problem. Let's rely on the market. Neither approach is adequate for today. The old ways of the old days will not do. The policies of the past will not carry us into the future. It's no longer big government versus big business. It's big citizenship. <laughs> Undo decades of gridlock. We need people, all of you, to get involved in politics, to serve, champion causes, and join movements for change. That's big citizenship. We need a new role for government that recognizes change comes from the bottom up, not the top down. We need to grow what works in the grassroots and reform what doesn't work in Washington. That's big citizenship. <laughs> to create breakthrough solutions and a tide of jobs for the future, we need to look to and invest in our innovators and entrepreneurs in both the private and nonprofit sectors. That's big citizenship and we need to foster new partnerships between the public sector the private sector and the nonprofit sector because to solve all of our nation's problems we need all hands on deck and yes that's big citizenship and if we're and if we're to hold true to our, our nation's ideals of liberty, equality, and justice for all, we must recommit ourselves to building an opportunity society. For too many people in Massachusetts and across our country, the American dream has become a dream deferred. An opportunity society means universal health care now. It means investing in and reforming our public schools now. It means more partnerships and less partisanship now. And especially in a high-tech state like Massachusetts, it means investing in new technologies to build new industries, fight climate change, and support small business to create a generation of new jobs now. We also need to understand that while we're big citizens at home, we also have to be citizens of the world. I've traveled to more than 30 countries. I've met with civic business and government leaders and social entrepreneurs. I've learned firsthand that the global crises we confront, climate change, clean energy, nuclear proliferation, extreme poverty, pandemics, terrorism, failing states, are deeply interrelated. They cannot be solved by military means alone, nor by any one nation acting alone. Our international institutions were built 65 years ago for another time. To achieve a new era of productive internationalism, we need to breathe new life into old institutions and create new ones to meet the challenges of our times. And we need to be sure we are pursuing the right strategy in Afghanistan and Pakistan and in counterterrorism, because any mistakes we make will be costly. Some pundits will say I'm a good guy who's done a good thing, but I don't have a chance because I don't have political experience. And in one way they will be right. I don't have any experience in running up trillion dollars of debt. <laughs> and I don't have any experience in the politics of division and distraction and destruction. They will say that I start behind in the money race, the horse race, the name ID race, and the ad wars. But that will all change very quickly because of you. Thank you all so much. I can't tell you, words can't express how deeply grateful I am, 
how blessed I feel to have your support and friendship and love. And I know that with your help, we will succeed and we will show Massachusetts that we can make a little history. So now let's get to work and get it done. Thank you.